Hello, my dears. So, this was a thought that I was having today, and I really wanted to come online and share about it because I've been um, doing some sessions lately with people, and this seems to come up a lot um, as we're working on something hard. I bring the invitation forward for my client, whoever I'm working with, to uh, do some self-care or, or bring some self-love into something. And there's a lot of resistance. And there's just so much out there in our, in our media, in our industry about self-care. People have circles that are all about self-care and groups that are about self-care. And everybody's got self-care on their agendas for their what do I have to do today, this week, whatever, right? We always have to put it into our, our lists, right? I got to make sure self-care is in there. Why, why is it so hard to take care of ourselves? Why is it so hard to give ourselves care? I think I, I, think I see this now, and so I wanted to share it with you. It lines up with what the same question of like when you think about giving care or love to another person when is that easy when that person is being loving and caring toward you right somebody's really sweet to you kind gentle tender I was just watching this old video of um, Mr. Rogers you know talking to uh, a Senate hearing or something like that and he's just so loving and caring you can just feel it in his demeanor his tone, his voice, and the senator responds very caringly back to him because it's easy to respond to somebody with care when they show you care. And here's why it's hard to do self-care. Because when we're loving with ourselves, when we're successful, when we do something that brings positive results or someone gives us a compliment, it's easier to love on that. It's easier to, maybe not maybe not always easy, I get that, but it's it's easier to, you know, give yourself pats or rewards or things like that when you are doing well. It's so much harder to respond caringly toward ourselves or other people when they're being jerks. <laughs> so this is why self-care is so hard, because the time when we really need it is the time when we're being hard on ourselves, when our inner critics are up and attacking us, like, you're so stupid, why can't you get it right, you suck, blah, blah, blah. That's the time when we most need compassion and when it is hardest to give because our tendency when people are mean to us is to back, right? Slap it away, avoid, or, you know, attack back. And so, this is actually the practice of self-care. It's not being sweet to yourself when you're already feeling warm and happy about you. It's about being sweet to yourself when you don't. It's about deliberately being sweet to yourself and kind and caring and gentle with yourself when you feel like crap about you or when part of you is telling yourself a story about how there's something wrong with you. Or when you're scared, and usually out of fear, you're going, well, if only I'd done this differently, or it's my fault that that happened, or whatever. Whether we're blaming ourselves or blaming somebody else, the challenge, but also the world-opening solution is to respond to crappy treatment with love. So I'm going to say it again. If you're feeling in any way crappy about yourself, the, the way to shift that is to respond with love. So when I have a client the other day and she's saying, yeah, I just, oh, there's all this pain, there's this part of me that feels broken, I'm so tired of feeling broken, and etc. And I'm like, yeah, instead of pushing that away, can you bring it closer? I don't want to, I'm going blank, I don't, you know. And I'm like, uh-huh, that's your tendency. That is the pattern. We know this one, and if you're tired of it, instead of pushing it away, bring it closer. Can you bring it closer toward your heart? Can you offer that love? As one of my teachers has said, is there love available even here? 
So that's why we find self-care so challenging because we were challenged to find a different level of courage, of vulnerability, of heart. It takes something deeper and bigger to respond to meanness with love. But if you can do it with yourself, you can do it with others. And the more you do it, the better it's going to be. It's a habit now for me, no matter how bad I might be feeling about something, whether it's disappointment um, or I'm feeling like I've failed or something's not working and I want to blame it on me or I want to blame it on somebody else. It's a habit now for me to be like, critics, no. Come here, little part of me who's feeling less than. Come here. Be here with me. I know. I know how hard you tried. I know how good your heart is. I know that you matter. I'm just going to sit with you and remind you of this love no matter what. That's my invitation to you. And I'm curious what you think about this idea. Uh, does this make sense to you that self care is really about giving yourself? kindness, even when the critics are really trying to take you down. And what's happened when you've tried? You know, I'm happy to uh, give any thoughts or additional pieces of information, but you have to say something to me and then I'll do it. Thank you so much for listening and I hope this was in some way helpful.